All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming in good and clear, and say hello to my favorite goat. Uh, maybe many of you will wonder why I have this goat in the screen. If you look at this goat with me, you will find this goat, she is a very fool. To the point she is tying herself up more and more, to the point she can't move no more. The rope around her horn, legs, waist, it's all over. And this is exactly how I see Islam. Islamic claim that can climb mountains, <clears throat> can eat anything, can swallow anything, and it can be useful. Well, we have to admit this goat is useful, Islam is not. So today our topic is how Allah he proved that there is no Allah and just to show you how sure I am that Allah he proved that there is no Allah I'm going to open my Skype from now welcome in any Muslim any Muhammadan to call us live on air and challenge me and not only that look how far the challenge will go you choose the topic remember you choose the topic, and I will prove it wrong. What do you say? This is a nice challenge, isn't it? Especially those who they are making videos to refute Christian Prince. You know, it's very easy to win a debate if you are talking to yourself. What about calling me? Prove to everybody that this guy, he do not know what he's talking about. What do you think, guys? Like we have uh, Mimi Hijab, he did not dare to call me. And when we tried to speak to him after calling him many times, more than 40 minutes waiting for him, he mute me, he hung up on me, and he could not answer any question. He, had, he want only me to answer him. And I did. They cannot debate me. They have fear, and the fear is big. And the fear not because of me, but because Islam is silly, Islam is stupid, Islam is not, nobody can defend this cult. They can defend this cult if they are speaking only with someone who, ha who have no idea what Islam is about. So who is a Muhammadan? He want to prove me wrong. And look how far I, my challenge is, how sure I am. You choose the topic in the Quran, you tell me what do you like me to talk about. And I will prove it wrong. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> if you like to be live on air, please text me in Skype or you can give, give me a call immediately. All right? And my Skype right now is open and I will be happy really to hear you, uh, Muhammadan. Giving us, give us the hard time, but, but please just maintain your mouth. Don't use bad language because usually, you know, we try to co to talk to Muslims in a nice way, and then they force us, you know, to speak. I mean, to hang up on you. I mean, why you want to do that? Just call us. Let us have a nice discussion, and people will watch, and we will not do what Muslims do to Christians. Anyone? Now, as long as there is no Muslims calling yet, we will. We hope. We hope soon we will have some. Please uh, share the link with your friends and invite everybody. Now, if we go in the Quran, as an example, if I open the first chapter in the Quran, this chapter is wrong. This is cannot be God speaking. You see how Allah He say in the name of Allah. Imagine I start today saying to you in the name of Christian Prince, but I am a Christian Prince. Do you understand me? How in the world somebody he say in the name of himself to open a conversation and then Allah he say praise be to Allah what's wrong with this guy? Allah is standing in the front of the mirror praising himself
And then he says, the most gracious, most merciful. But you just said that a verse before. Why you are repeating what you just said here? Are you okay? I mean, he did not even say seven words. What seven words? Actually, three words. In Arabic, three words. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. So he just said Ar Rahmanir Rahim. He said another three words. And then he go back to say Ar Rahmanir Rahim. But you just said that. Stream stopped. Yeah, something fishy. Let me see. Maybe YouTube is playing games with me. Because in my side, it's coming fine. So it can't be from my side. Refresh your page, guys. Refresh your page. This is YouTube playing games. Any Muslim can't tell us? And then Allah, he says, To do we worship and aid we seek. Allah saying we worship and we seek Allah. This is a prayer Muhammad he made to copy the prayer of our Father out of heaven. The prayer of which Jesus taught us to do and to say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah the gracious, the merciful. In the name of the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit. The Master of the Judgment Day. That is Jesus. Isn't it even Muhammad? He says that the Messiah will come as a perfect judge and just. How a human being can be judge and just? There's no human can no human can be judge and just in the same time. You can be judge, but to be ju just, it's impossible. Actually, just supposedly is one of the names of Allah Al Adil. The hadith says that Muhammad said that Jesus will come soon, very soon, which is a false prophecy because he claimed it's soon. Yushiku. Almost. Okay, but this is 1400 years ago. And, 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 uh, and almost never happened. This almost never happened. <clears throat> Let us see the hadith. Who is the one? Who is the one is going to come in the judgment day and he will be the judge? Jesus. And who is the one who made a false prophecy in this hadith? Muhammad. Why? Because Muhammad soon, he said soon, shortly. And actually in, in Arabic, liyushikna is not shortly, it's almost in the corner. It's like tomorrow or maybe a week from now. Allah Messenger said, by him in he who, whose hand is my soul, Son of Mary, Jesus, there's no Jesus, says Isa, will shortly descend amongst you. Proving to be false, he did not descend. 1400 years is gone. As just ruler. Actually, it doesn't say a ruler, it says Hakaman, judge. How you can be a human. And you are a just, just person. You cannot. 
only God is just. For in order to be just, you have to know the unseen. You have to know what people are hiding from you because the judge, he only judge by what he know. And what he know can be deceiving. Correct? Somebody frame somebody. The judge is a good man, not a bad man. The victim is a good man, not a bad man. But because the judge do not know really the truth, he might send you to jail. Because the judge is not a bad person, but he, he, he just made a decision based on what he was able to, to see. So how Jesus will be a just judge in the judgment day? And look at the funny Muhammad. He will break the cross. Which cross? Is that the column in the front of my house for electricity? Is that you and me? Because all of us, we are shaped in the cross, by the way. Every human is, is in the shape of a cross. When you walk in the street, you see cross walking. Because every human is in the shape of a cross. I mean, this is silly and stupid. And then he will kill the pig. I mean, look at this religion. There's a person, he will come in the judgment day, he have a mission. And the mission, he will hold two guns and he will go in Texas and he say, hey pig, where are you? And then we hear the whistle of the cowboy music. And the wind is coming. And the Esau will say to the pig, you draw first. The pig you say to Isa, huh? <laughs> you think you are fast? Do you think really you are fast? And then, what will happen next? According to Muhammad, Isa is the winner and the pig will be, the, will be dead. I mean, look at the victory. A prophet of God, his name is Isa, sent it from behind the seven galaxies, seven seas, to come back to the earth to fight with the pig. I mean, what an honor. And you want me to believe that Muhammad is not a fraud? I mean, who in the world want to believe in this? And then not only that, guys, the, uh, the, the, uh, he, he will abolish the jizya. The jizya is abolished long time ago. Who's paying jizya? This guy is talking about jizya in the judgment day. You see here it says that he will abolish the jizya, which means um, all everybody will be Muslim, supposedly. Nobody will pay jizya. Because the one who pays jizya is a Christian and Jews. Okay, he will apologize to Jizya, and then the wealth will be all over, and nobody will accept money. I mean, people will get rich. Nobody pays Jizya right now, which means judgment day should happen a long time ago. And people are getting rich. Are you sure? I mean, we find money in the street, and nobody, like you want to give, you give somebody $1,000, he say, no, I don't want it. What this guy is talking about? Can you turn Super Chat on? Well, it's not on. You know, YouTube always, you know, after me, what I can do. But uh, in a few days, we will use uh, the other account. So you can, if you want to use Super, Super Chat, you can use it. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? But Mohammedans, police miss like some say, accuse you to be extremist by you supporting Inquisition. I mean, look at those uh, uh, potatoes. Look who's talking about Inquisition. What is Inquisition mean? What do you mean in Spain? Well, right now in USA, if you betray your country, you will be executed in USA. As simple as that. So the Inquisition they are talking about is about uh, something happened long time ago when the Muslim occupied Spain. And whoever betrayed them, this is what the Inquisition was. Whoever joined the Muslim's army or get a job from them, the occupation, 
he betrayed the nation. And the Muslim, they practice inquisition every day. What is the penalty for someone leaving Islam, my friend, right now? Death. What is the penalty of being a gay? Death. What is the penalty of cursing the Prophet? Death. And you are talking about, I am supporting equanimation. When you, it's you. Like when the last time you saw me going after somebody? <laughs> I'm talking about history, you idiot. But you today, you practice that. And you follow a prophet, he says, the one who changed his religion, kill him. And you believe in that. So who is the one who practice and believe in Inquisition? Is that your prophet speaking here or me? This is Inquisition. Not only Inquisition, you Muslim believe, you believe in genocide. Is it Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind. The Muslim, they will say, it says fight. Well, fight here is uqatil, which means fight to kill. All mankind. There's a video for Mimi Hijab saying, well, the Prophet, he says, I will order all uh, to, kill, to fight all mankind. For sure, not the Muslims, because Muslims are not included. <laughs> so, you know, the war against non muslims as simple as that. Muslims are not included. And I will fight and I will do inquisition until they testify that there is no God but Allah and there is no Prophet but Muhammad and the hadith in front of you and this is Sahih. What they will say, it's weak. I've been ordered to do inquisition until there's nobody worship any God save Allah and say there's no prophet but Muhammad. And not only that, even if you say that, you're not done. Because Muhammad saying clearly, you have to eat as we eat. You have to pray as we pray. You have to worship as we worship. And you have to pay, the, to pay me money. And then and only then your property and your blood is saved from my hand. Muhammad is a thief, as you see. He's saying clearly, the only way to protect your property from taking by me is to do this otherwise your property your wives your children's you yourself your blood will be taken from you am i lying so how somebody is a muslim talking about inquisition what a coward you are this is the inquisition there's a hadith actually says that muhammad was the huq al-qattal what do you mean of the al qatal Muhammad, he laughs when he is slaughtering people. Do you believe it? of the al qatal How do that can be a prophet of God? He enjoy killing, slaughtering, and he laugh. He, he you know, he laugh when he is doing it. Let me see if I can't find the hadith in English, but I don't think so. But we can maybe find it somewhere. In Arabic, for sure, we can't find it easy. No, we can't find it in, in uh, But let us see. Have you ever heard of somebody he laugh while he is slaughtering people? That is Muhammad. I'm just trying to find you. A website we can use something official already I found the book in Google Books but Google Books you cannot click at English translation and translate hmm. 
I found here a website for university. I don't know if this is a Muslim website. Uh, it's in English. I will post the link for you. I don't know if we can post it. It's called ITRE uh, Education, which means university. Look what it says. Al-Dahuqul What at the Hukul Qatab? The man who laughs when he is slaughtering people. He is constantly laughing while he is murdering people. Isn't it obvious that this man is sick? He practiced inquisition for people did nothing. You see, Inquisition, if somebody betray a nation, they go after his betrayer, right? Those people did nothing to Muhammad. What about Muhammad, he said? I swear by Allah, if I became victorious, I will cleanse the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. Is that Inquisition? <laughs> so, you know, when a Muslim, he talk about Inquisition, he can talk about it as long as he is speaking to a bunch of ignorant who do not know what Inquisition mean. And who is the one who practice really Inquisition? And right now, there is zero Christians, zero Jews who they are citizens in Saudi Arabia or the Arabian Peninsula. Do we have any Mohammedan? Check Skype. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Mustafa, okay, Mr. Mustafa. We have a Mr. Mustafa wanna call us maybe. Okay, Mr. Mustafa, answer please. You are not answer you are not online, Mustafa. <clears throat> it says Mustafa is offline. Call me Mustafa. And for some reason, I did not even hear anything in my phone. We did not hear anyone calling. But it says here, missed call from Mustafa. I'm not sure why. Let us call again, Mr. Mustafa. Maybe he has something to say to us. Hey, Mustafa, you are not online, my friend. Don't tell me guys call me. You have to text me first so I can call you. How I will know your account. I'm not going to go and search for people. You want to talk to me? Text me in Skype. Tell me please call me. I will be happy to call you. As simple as that. As long as you are a Muslim. No Christian for now. <clears throat> All right. No, I'm officially out of customers long time ago. Where are they? Especially those who have a long beard and they claim that they are the one. They want to go and debate the Christians. You see, they debate somebody. As long as you don't speak Arabic, you do not know Islam, they debate you. The second you know, they will not let me talk. Hey, mute him, mute him, mute him, mute him, mute him. Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. What kind of a debate? We did not debate. They did not dare to debate. Have you ever heard of a debate? Only one person he asks questions and the other one have to answer. Cowards. Fear. The fear. He is a trembling.
any Mohammedan would like to call us, please feel free. So we go back to our topic. Allah, he told us in the Quran that there is no Allah. Oh, we can prove it very easy. I mean, have you ever heard of a religion belief that shaitan, he came from the mouth of Adam, he, he get out from the anus of Adam, Adam? I mean, how in the world this man Muhammad can be a prophet of God? How this man can be a prophet of God? How he can even believe in this for a second? Shaitan, he get in the mouth of Adam and he get out of, from his anus. Why? And what does that mean? What is, what is behind this story? Don't you think you are insulting even Adam? Any Mohammedan? Guys, is the is the is the casting good? Is it good? I mean, we are using this uh, free software. It's called OBS to pro to broadcast. So. Any Mohammedan would like to call us? As I said, if you are a Muslim, you are a Mohammedan. You feel free, please. I will be happy to speak to you nicely and friendly. There's no need for name calling. There's no need for fighting. There's no need for shouting. Let us be human. Call me and tell me how you can prove to us as a Christian that Allah is exist and the Quran in front of us. I believe that every single page in the Quran is a disaster. Every single page. It's an official disaster. You know, the, the Quran is like a, uh, somebody trying to stop the dryer machine from, from shaking, you know, and he sit in the top of it. And then his mouth starts like, you know, like the words is coming from the mouth of this guy. You call him Allah. It does not make sense. Not only history is wrong. Not only science is wrong. Not even names. Are, have you ever heard of a God? You cannot quote name correctly. You see, English is not my first language. So I might mistake if I want to read a name, any of you. But this is normal for me. I'm a human. And this is not my language. But we are talking about God. Have you ever heard of a God? He think that Mary, the Maryam, is the sister of Aaron and she is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And this is why Muhammad, he believed that Umran is the father of Mary, which is Umran, the father of Aaron. And even there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of Ali Umran, chapter number three. I mean, how does God, he made such a mistake? I can make it, you can make it, but not God. The family of Umran, who are they, the family of Umran? Who want to account for me? The family of Amran is Musa's, Maryam, and Aaron. Nice to meet you. So according to Muhammad, Isa, or supposedly Jesus, is the nephew of Musa. Have you ever heard of a fallacy more than this? Have you? Everything in this book is a joke.
Shaitan sleep in your nose, piss in your ears, jump in your mouth, play with your anus. I mean, obviously, this is science. And this is a prophet of God. Who, how we can deny that this is a prophet of God is talking? Because nobody can talk like this unless he's a prophet of God. Because this is always unseen, you know, like this, you know, Muhammad, he claimed things which nobody can see except him. Is that correct, Muslims? According to Muhammad, the dead people are talking in the grave. Like there's a hadith where Muhammad, he said, uh, if you put uh, like a, a little, little green uh, branch over a grave, that will, uh, will make less torture on, on this person. Because why? Because there is two angels in the grave and they are going to beat you with hammer. And this hammer is made from steel. I hope it's not from China. It's going to break. Is it? What is this? And don't worry, if you call me, I will not use the hadith unless you force me. We can talk about the Quran still. Allah Apostle said, But I think here we need some. Uh, I mean, we need some action here. Maybe this one? No, not this one. No, not this one too. We need some action. Because the, you know, the story needs a background. I mean, we cannot just play it like this. See when when you when you watch a horror movie, uh, The brothers and sisters, Allah Messenger said, When Allah slaves is put in his grave and his companions return to their homes, he even hears their footsteps. Two angels will come to him and will make him sit. Sit down, you idiot. And they will ask him, KGB style. What did you see? What did you use to say about this man? What? What did you use to say about this man? I.E. Muhammad. I mean, you are dead in the grave, and now there is two angels are doing inquisition. Are you sure? And how he will know this man? The faithful believer will say what he will say. I testify he is Allah's slave and his apostle. Then they will say to him, look at your place. In hellfire has given to you 
a bliss in paradise instead of it. That's it. I mean, this is the question which supposedly, if you answer correctly, he will be going to heaven. So what we'll do now, like party? Hey, girls are waiting. Yeah, hello. Absolutely. Samba. Zambula Balbula is waiting for me. I passed the first question. Mom, mom, hello. I passed the first question. I'm okay now, okay? Yeah, okay, shut up, shut up. Just true. What is that? What is this? This is a prophet of God. So because he said that this is Muhammad, the, how, he, how he knew this is Muhammad? They don't even say his name for him. They will show him a picture. And then, Allah has given your place in the heaven instead of it. So he will see both his places. What? Both? What do you mean both? Both his places, which means his place in heaven and his place in hell. I mean, that's fun. That's really fun. Kutada said, what Kutada said, don't worry, be happy, just wait, Kutada is going to say something. We were informed that this grave would be made of spacious, really. Then Kutada went back to the narration of Anas and said, where is the hypocrite or non-believer will be asked, uh-oh, what they will be asked? Huh? What they will be asked? The same question they will ask to the unbeliever. He will say, I do not know. But I used to say what the people used to say. They will say to him, neither do you know, nor do you, did you take a guidance. This is all in the, in the grave. And because now he did not give the correct answer, guess what will happen? They will hit him in his head. Or oh, not like this. This is not really too strong. I mean, what is this? This. What? It cannot be true. Hey, come on, it's a steel hammer. What are you talking about? It's going to be really tough. Yeah, like this. Then they will hit him with the iron hammer. Is that, a, is that, is that the guy who come in the movie with the hammer? What's his name? What's his name, guys? Thor? Thor and the hammer guy, like he throw the hammer, the hammer come back to him. I have a hammer like this, by the way. So they will hit you in your head with the hammer. That will send him such a cry as everything near to him to hear will hear, except the jinn and the human. Look at this. I mean, everything will hear except the jinn and the human. So who will hear that? Oh, everybody will hear him screaming except the genie and the human. Why? Is it high frequency? <laughs> Is that a silence a pain? What is this? Nobody will hear it. For, for sure, he had to cover his bum, you know, because the lie is so big. So he said, okay, but, but by the way, yes, he will scream, but nobody hear it, okay? Oh, okay, prophet, I got you. I got you, brother. Brother and sister. In the Dead day, and they will come to you. And they will ask you three questions. Actually, the hadith here is not is giving us. This is not the correct story. The correct story is saying Muhammad, because he's a liar, he cannot repeat the same story three times. Because in different story, he says they will ask him three questions. Three questions, not one.
and you should see the eyes of Zachar Naik explaining the, tor the, the, the torture of the grave. A brother did her. Our brother, they ask you question about the dead men day and how we are going to torture them in the grave. Actually, the torture of the grave is going to happen right away at the other week. Uh, sorry, what? It's going to happen that day at the other week. And they say, Christian Prince, we don't understand your English. Uh, uh, Zachar, I did not get it. Sorry. What are you saying? You are going to be tortured immediately as long as soon as you die. They put you in the grave and they will torture you. Okay, Zachar Naik, how this will happen? There are two and they will come to you and they will ask you three questions. First question, who is your God? Uh, Jesus. Here we go. If you say Jesus, the, the, the angels, they will hit you with the hammer. Like this. Exactly. And they will take you down 70 cubits in the ground. I'm in the ground and I will be down more 70 cubits and my head will be two, two pieces. You're, I did not say that. Yes, exactly. Your head will be two pieces. I mean, what is that? I mean, truly, truly, I believe Allah is God now. That's it. This, is, this is, must be a prophet. Because who is who is the one who has such a knowledge unless he is a prophet? This is Muhammad. He is the one who knows everything, my friend. And the funny Muhammad, he said, that... The torture of the grave is not because you rape somebody, you rape a woman, you kill somebody. No. Anyone remember what the torture of the grave, what is the reason for it? I mean, when you hear this, uh, and, and here, by the way, here we expose the lies of Muhammad. Because here saying, they will ask you if you know this man, if you accept him as a prophet or not, right? But Muhammad in different hadith, he says, the torture of the grave is because of the urine. Because of what? Urine. So where do you get those questions from? Those are additional later. Do you see it? Urination is the main cause of the punishment. Not Muhammad, my friend. But in the other story, it says Muhammad. Hey guys, just hold on. I have... You guys remind me of... Uh... go into the bathroom what is that what happened exactly when you urinate like what happened i oh, just got this guy this is my grandfather he have a lot of urine just hold that let's, let us look for for i mean what is this Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. We are listening. So God will torture a human being not because of he being a thief, not because he's being a killer, not because he's being a rapist, not because he's being a liar. No, because of urine. It makes sense. I mean, this is justice. Allah is all about just. How the prophet he have the knowledge of urine? He have knowledge about everything. Actually, there's a hadith that says, "Inna sahibakum alamakum kulla shay hatta al khara." Your prophet he taught you everything, including how to do pupu. You don't believe me? I can show it to you. I mean, have you ever have of, of a prophet? He's teaching people how to do pupu. What kind of a classroom is that? I see that your friend, this is the Arab guy, is saying to the Muslims, I see that your friend even teaching you about poo-poo. And then what? What, how, what is the class of about poo-poo is about? It's about using three rocks. This is the class about poo-poo? So if we join the class of Muhammad to learn how to do pupu, we will learn how to use the three rocks? Uh, 
I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. So why not four? The four will make it cleaner. I mean, this guy, he's stuck with number three and everything, even with his poo-poo. When he prayed to Allah, he had to say the name of Allah three times. When you say Shahada, you have to say it three times. When you enter a house, he say Assalamu Alaikum three times. I mean, imagine somebody shaking your hand with you three times. How, how weird it is. We are going to open a class about how to do poo-poo. And the funny Muhammad, he forbid them from facing the Qibla, the Kaaba, when they do poo, poo but Muhammad was doing it. What's up, young man? Who told you I'm young? Unbelievable. There's things you do not know about me, my friend. Maybe I'm very old. People, they keep asking me, where are you from? And, you know, very embarrassing. I cannot tell you because my dad and my mom were hijacking an airplane when they uh, gave birth to me. So I got many citizenships. So I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan, and I am not young. What is young about me? My brain was a very old brain since I was a kid. And that's what matter, not your age. There's people who they are in their 60, but they are not mature yet. They are teenage. Now, do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan, where did the, you know, my Skype is open. I mean, even my Skype is complaining. My Skype is saying like, wah, 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 like where's Muhammadan? Wah, where are they? What is this? This is, how this man can be a prophet of God. Angels will come to you in the grave. Urine will be a reason for torturing. Well, this is a translation in Arabic. It says uh, 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 three rocks. This is the Muslim translation. I don't know if this, what, I don't know actually what this word means in English, to be honest with you. But in Arabic, it says, hijara. three rocks, three stones. Uh, I have I challenge you to say salam alaikum three times. Okay, uh, Mr. Abbas, guys, Abbas is a challenge in me, and I accept that challenge. Abbas, if you call me right now, right now, not tomorrow. I will make you read the hadith and then I want you to admit that you are an ignorant forever. <clears throat> what do you say, Abbas? Do you agree? Do you want to call me Abbas? Everything in this time is three times. Any Muslim? Is your challenge is a valid challenge or is a shish kebab a challenge? Everything your prophet he do three times. Let, 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 let me teach you a trick. You know the hadith? No, you do not know the hadith. 
Oh, shake hands. Uh, not you know. I'm saying. I'm saying. Imagine somebody is shaking hands with you three times, right? Your prophet, the shaking hands at that time is saying salam. This is the shaking hands. Shaking hands is something new. This is not really Arabian thing. The Arab they don't shake hands. They shake hands of them. They say assalamu alaikum. So your prophet he practiced shaking hands at that time. So he say assalam three times, salamu alaikum three times. Now you tell me what's wrong with him? Why a man he need to repeat that three times in the name of uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Everything in your cult is a three time. Name one thing is not three time. Like what? You're a prophet, he supplicate three times. Why? Do you see it? He supplicate to Allah, asking for forgiveness three times. Okay, what about doing it four? What will happen? Allah, Allah system will crush? Do you see it? Allah perform wudu a three time, Allah prophet. Okay, why three time? For each limb. This is the religion of the Trinity. They believe in the Trinity, they practice the Trinity, and yet they say to us there is no Trinity. The prophet, he want to go and go for war, he say, Ribot, 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 three times. The prophet, he clean his nose, three times. His mouth, three times. I mean, what is that? Do you read it? Do you know how to read? Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Time. Break an egg. Break an egg. This is an Arabian woman from my town. She wanted to learn how to make cake, like in this in the in the Western style. We don't we don't you know Arab we don't make cake really. So she got a CD and uh, she's following the steps in the CD, but the CD is stuck with the breaking egg. So she called her husband, send me more eggs. He sent her 100 egg. After 15 minutes, send me more eggs. Because the CD is stuck with the breaking egg. And this is Muhammad. Break an egg. Break an egg. Hmm? Even when he says something, he has to repeat three times. Adam debating Musa's Muhammad he says so. Uh, so uh, uh, Adam he confuted Moses and he repeat that three times. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. How boring! How funny! And how silly! Sniff up water into your nostrils. I mean, how you can do that? This is disgusting and this is stupid. And why we do that, brother? And why three times? I want a Muslim to tell me why three times. Like, why not four times? Maybe five times. That will make it a cleaner. And by the way, why you need to do that to your nose? Because shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Is that correct? Because shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Science. So shaitan, he, he jumped in the mouth of Adam. He came from his anus. Shaitan in the mouth of, 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 of the Muslims. Shaitan in the nose of the Muslims sleeping. Shaitan, he urinate in your ears. Prophet, this is prophet talking. I mean, we cannot debate about this because this is a prophet talking. He must be true. Allah told him. This, this, is, a, this is a knowledge coming from God. This is not a knowledge coming from a man. There's no way the man he would know that. This is only, only God know those stuff. Can't you tell? And my Skype, my Skype still asking for Muslims three times. Any Muhammadan, any Muhammadan, any Muhammadan. Anyone? They are heroes. They make videos to refute a Christian prince, exposing Christian prince lies. And just wait, just wait. I don't want to forget. Mimi Hijab, he asked me, did you say that to that woman? What? Did you say that to that woman? What What I said? Did you say, suckle me? Well, your prophet, he says, suckle him. So I was saying to him, her, suckle me. 
Have you ever heard? Did you see that? Suddenly they became decent people and they are like, this is bad. This is ugly. This is disgusting. How you say that to a woman? It's your prophet saying, I was reading to her what your stupid prophet said. Suckle him. Who is him? Christian Prince? How I can suckle him and he is a growing up man? So the Muhammadan are asking Christian Prince, how you say that? I'm not the one saying that, you idiot. It's you, your prophet saying that. And you and your wife have to practice it. So, uh, uh, you know, either you are proud about what your prophet taught you, or you, as you said, this is a sexual predator talk. Sexual, I will use your term, sexual predator. So you are admitting that your prophet is a sexual predator. Because you're blaming the one who was reading what your prophet said, but you don't blame the one who said that. And we are learning from him. Hypocrisy. By the way, if there is a way to subscribe to my YouTube three times. <laughs> Oh boy. Kill those who change their religion. Uh, you know, uh, truth seeker, let me show you how, how ignorant you are. The Jews, the Jews are a nation, which means they are an ethnic and religion at the same time. So the one who betrays a nation, according to the Old Testament, he will be killed. You, Muslims, are practicing something have nothing to do with the nation you are not one ethnic group and even the arab there's nothing is called arab like me myself and arab but arab is not people i mean it's not it's an ethnic what arab is it? you know if you look at the arab everyone look different every single one who called they call him arab he look different all the arab from the arabian peninsula they are pakistani indian all of them there's no arab including your prophet muhammad If we go right now, something, and I have a neighbor from four, four, four houses away, he is cleaning the snow in the front of my house. How nice. I mean, that's wonderful, neighbor. Oh boy. That's wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, the guy he like I mean he he ran the snow all the way from his house. I mean all the way. I mean very nice of him. Do we have any Muhammadan there to to call us, please? We will speak nicely and friendly. Mayday, mayday, Mimi, uh, Mimi hijab. Where is Mimi? We will not hang up on you. We will not call you names as you call me. I will not insult your mother as you insulted my mother. But I accuse you to be a coward. And you don't dare to talk to me. Same as the rest. A lot of fear. Anyone? Yeah, we have a lot of snow. And we have a Trump is coming to town. He is doing a Christmas rally. By the way, if you are a person who have Netflix, and you are a Christian, and you really love Jesus, drop the service of Netflix immediately. This filthy company is making like a movie or documentary claiming that Jesus was a gay. So when you sponsor them, the money you pay is going to go to insult Jesus. 
You see, we are not people who support violence. We don't do what the Muslims do. We don't go after people for doing such as, you know, this is not, this is not the right thing to do. But there is something very peaceful you can do. Drop this company. And let them go bankrupt. If all the Christians agree right now to drop Netflix, Netflix is bankrupt. Filthy, filthy, disgusting network, and I will never have them in my TV. Take your ten dollars, which you are paying to Netflix or twelve dollars. Give them so somebody poor. And if you want to watch movies, there's millions of movies, you know, in in, in YouTube, and they are legally there. But if you have Netflix, drop it immediately. You see, because those people, they if they don't see a reaction, they don't see that they are, you know. I mean, what the purpose of this? Look at this stupid thing. I mean, how filthy. And where you are coming with this from? Just to insult. They don't dare to do that to Muhammad, by the way. Cowards. Because the Christians are peaceful, they will not go after them. But do they dare to say to, to make the same about Muhammad? They will not. Now drop your service and send them an email that says, shame on you, I'm out of this because of this. Because they need to know how and why. Any Muhammadan? I wonder how, I wonder why. <sighs> and all what I can see, Allah scared of me. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, Jibreel is very worried because of me. Hey, hold on, guys. I have to take this call. Give me a second, please. All right, I apologize, guys. I'm back. Am I heard? I receive a phone call. You know, actually, um, I'm going to go on a trip 
you know, this is what the call is about. Actually, I'm going to go on a trip and I will do fishing soon. And I will make videos for you when I'm fishing. What do you think? <laughs> I'm trying to escape this winter, you know. So the, this is what this call is about. You know, they, you know, they are telling me about the place if it's going to be ready or not. You know. So I will be there, and uh, if, if we will make videos. Nothing will change. You know. I'm taking my computer with me, for sure. And uh, when I'm taking a break, because this place is not far away from the ocean. Let me tell you where this ocean located. Anyone remember Prophet Moses when he wanted to meet Prophet Al Khadr? Anyone remember? Where the two seas they meet, and there's a fountain, it's called the Fountain of Youth. Anyone remember? This is exactly where I'm going, brother. And I will try to find the Fountain of Youth because I want to get young again. Right now I'm 21. I mean, I'm sick of it. You know? I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, like, this is not really. So here's the story, if you are wondering, and this is additional proof that Muhammad is a prophet. I mean, if you read this story, let me pause the hate for you so you can read it by your own, and you tell me if Muhammad is a prophet or not. They know not forever. God forbid, twenty-one forever. You know, when I was 24, 20, 21, it was one of the hardest time for me. Because I cannot friend people from my age. And in the Middle East, they don't friend you if you are too young. I mean, the old. So I I became like I have no friends, because a friend in my in my age, they are just about party, etc. For me, I spend my childhood until really good time just reading books, reading, 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 reading. And for sure, I have a lot of physical activities too. You know, I love hunting, I love etc. But I found myself stranger between people in my age. I don't match, I don't fit. Somehow, I'm not, I'm not in their age. So I don't want to be 21. Don't remind me. Can we come too? Sure, sure, sure. All what you need to do, you take with me, we take we take with you a dead sardine. In the case of Prophet Musa, he took a whale with him. All right. So Allah, he told him, Musa, he told Allah, how I will find this uh, person, how I can meet him. Allah said, take a fish in your pocket. By the way, it's not a fish; it's a whale, as again. And whenever the fish lost, follow it. Follow it. Did you see the word follow it? Hold on, hold on. Did you see the word follow it? Follow who? Follow the dead fish? It's a fish in your pocket. So what Allah claimed that this fish will come back to life in a certain point, like let us say an exit in the highway, and then when the fish escape, you follow it. This is exactly how you will find my, uh, my location. Kabich? I mean, this is very easy. Just take a sardine with you. Don't take a big fish with you. I mean, sardine, put it in your pocket. But don't forget to open the sardine, you know? So, I mean, the cover, so she, the fish can escape. So, keep watching the, your pocket. When the fish escape from the sardine box, can, then follow it. And you are telling me Muhammad is the prophet. Are you kidding me? I mean, what's wrong with you? You people, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why you don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Why? Give me a reason. Give me a reason. Give me a logical reason. A brother, the prophet of Allah, he gave us a lot of knowledge, brother. As an example, can I, Christian, call you about the topic, argument? Um, actually, you see, I, I'm, I'm afraid to take a course from Christians because I don't want to do what the Muslims do. The Muslims, they have a, a, they speak to themselves and they debate themselves and they win the debate. They have Mimi and Lulu. Mimi asking Lulu, Lulu agree with Mimi. You know what I mean? This is what Muhammad and they do. Mimi and Lulu. Mimi said, Christian Prince said, Lulu agree with Muhammad. Mimi. We don't want to do that. We want uh, we don't want Mimi and Christian Prince. 
Yeah. So look at this, brothers. A brothers and sisters. Prophet al Khudr, he thought he is, sorry, Musa, he thought he is the best one who knows about Allah. He said, I am the most learned. If, 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 if. Are you? Are you Musa? I am the most learned. I imagine here uh, Musa, he was trying to say uh, that he is sexy and you know it. So Musa, the Muslim Musa, he was saying, I am the most learned. And the rain started coming, like, okay, Allah is angry now. <laughs> Allah, he heard him. You see, Allah hear everything. <laughs> so Allah, uh, I am the most learned among the people. Musa replied, Allah said to him, admonished Musa, for he did not scri ascribe all the knowledge to Allah. Only then come the divine inspiration. Yes, one of our slaves at the injunction of the two seas. Uh oh, there is a slave of Allah who lived between the junction of the two seas. Let us search now in the map to find where is the junction of the two seas. Anyone knows where this location is? What Muhammad is talking about? Let me open the map. <clears throat> Here we go. The junctions of the two sea. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, okay, is that the that the tunnel in Egypt between the Mediterranean and the no? Is that in uh, Istanbul, Constantinia, the one the the Mohammedan they stole from us, and we will get it sooner or later? Hmm? Is that here? No. Is that here, brother? Yes, brother. This is what Muhammad is talking about. You see in English here, you see the word Bahrain. You see the country is called Bahrain. Bahrain. This is exactly what the Hadith is saying. And actually, this is in the Quran. Marjul Bahrain. So Muhammad is copying a legend. If you go and if you know like about Gilgamesh and those stories, that there is a king who was looking for a fountain of youth. And he found it in Al Bahrain. And the Quran mentions something. Let us open it. Marjul Bahrain Yeltaqiyan. And this is in chapter 55, verse number 19, chapter 25, verse number 53. It's a place where two water, two seas, not two bodies. Here's this fast, fast translation. It says two seas. Let us change the translator. You will see how, how everything changed. They lie, they lie in their translation. I want to finish my translation, but you guys are not giving me time. So it is he who set loose the two seas. What is the two seas? There is a salty water and a fresh water. How Muhammad he come to this story, the legion story? Because simply, Muhammad obviously, he did not even go there. He don't know what he's talking about. There is no fresh water and salty water meeting in this area, and there's no rivers, and there's no springs. So what he's talking about? What fresh water? But based on the legend, obviously, Muhammad is copying the story of Bahrain and he is adding things to it about a place, it's called Bahrain, where two seas they meet 
And obviously, those are the two C's, but they are not two C's. This is just an island. And it's totally an island, by the way. The, the Saudi, they, they built the bridge between them and Bahrain because they were afraid that Iran is going to occupy it very soon. Especially the majority of the population in Bahrain is a Shia and the king is Sunni. So they built a, a big bridge between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia so they can protect this tiny island from invasion of uh, uh, Iran. And the Bahrain now they have a base for uh, the American, the same as Qatar, the same as the Saudi. Muslims are protected by the Christians, as usual. So according to Muhammad, Musa, he went all the way. All the way from where? All the way from here. Let's zoom out in the map. He went all the way from here to here. Okay, and what he is trying to find here, he want to find the prophet. His name is Al Khadr, and he is the most knowledgeable. And Musa will register in his class so to be his student. How insulting. Musa himself is going to be a student of Al Khadr. So the trip starts from here, and Musa supposedly he took with him an, a servant. His name is Yeshua. His name is what? Yeshua. Yeshua what? Yeshua, the son of Noon. Anyone knows what Noon means? Anyone knows what Noon means? What noon mean? Who knows noon? Let me type it for you in English. Not none. This is noon. Noon is a whale. This is in the Aramaic language. So Yeshua, the son of the whale, makes sense. I mean, look, his last name, the servant, is, is a whale. And he is carrying the whale. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> think about it, brother. All right? And if you go in the Quran, you will find that whale, the, this whale, <clears throat> is carrying the earth in the top of it. Is carrying the earth in the top of it. Actually, we can find this in Ibn Kathir. We can find it in many places how the, the whale is carrying the earth. Just to refresh your memory, my friend. Chapter 61, verse number one, noon. Those are, noon, by the way, is not a word. You see, in Arabic, we when we pronounce a letter by itself, we pronounce it as if it's a word, but it's not a word. It is a letter. So the letter here is the letter N. Let me write it for you. It is a switch to Arabic, all right. This is how the letter look like, N. So Allah said, Noon. The Muslim, they say in the translation, are one of the miracles of Allah. Okay, let me make a miracle for you. M, H, G, K. I mean, look, look, look how this is, can be a miracle. It's a letter. It is a letter, but because the Muslim, they could not understand it, they say it's a miracle. I will make some miracles for you, brothers and sisters. K. A. Uh, w. So, let us say, I just made the miracle of cow. This is a miracle, but because they could not understand what this is about, what is what what this noon? Allah swear by noon, which is a whale, and this whale is carry in the top of it the earth. All right, the Muslim they will say is lying to you. Is a liar. Is a liar. We 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 alarm alarm. Christian friends are lying, brother. Uh, okay, hold on. Let us go to the tafsir. <clears throat> And see how that will end. 
for the benefit of the Muhammadan, for the benefit of the Christians, or even the Hindus of the Jews. Let us see. I will open the tafsir for you. Give me a second, please. So you guys, you can read with me. And all of this is leading us that Allah must be God. I mean, it's obvious. Is it obvious? What's wrong with people? Why they cannot see what we, I mean, why, why you cannot see that? Why? What's wrong with you? Something fishy about you. Change your diet, brother. <clears throat> all right. This is the interpretation, and thank God the official website of the King of Jordan is working because usually nothing works in this country, including the, the king himself. From the narration of Ibn Abbas, who is Ibn Abbas, is the cousin of Muhammad. So this is first-hand witness of Muhammad. He said, regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon, okay, what noon? Allah swear by noon, which is the wheel that carry the earth, the earth is sorry, earth is because Allah He said there is seven earth, seven earth, not one. This is true. I mean, we have to admit this is true. I mean, how we can deny? How we can deny this? Can you? Me myself, I cannot. Me myself, truly, truly. I cannot. I mean, it's obvious. I don't know why you cannot see it, but for me, I see the truth is there. And then it's carried the earth is in its back. While in the water, ah, the, the way in the water, I was I thought he's doing skiing in the in the in the mountains. Okay. And beneath it, there's a bowl. There's what? What what is the what is there beneath beneath it? A bowl? Okay, all right. I mean, that makes sense. So now we have a wheel, underneath of it, there's a bowl. And under the bowl, there's a rock. Like what? Like what, what, what? Are you serious? Brother and sister, Allah swear by the noon. The noon is a wheel, and the noon is cow. And the cow, she said, underneath is a rock. And the rock she speak to me, and there's there is a crack, and under the crack there's a dust, and no one knows what the dust is, save Allah. Here we go. We made the rabbi music. What is this? This is science. This is Allah swear by noon, the whale noon. The whale noon. And what is the name of the cow? Uh, the name of the bowl is Bahamut. Bahamut, do you hear me? Hello? Okay, thank you, Bahamut, for responding. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, thank you. I mean, and you are telling me Islam is not from God? Are you serious? And then some of them they say that the name of the of, of the oh, hold on the the name of the wheel is Lewish. Is that Lewish for a con? I don't think so. The name of the whale is Lewish. Lewish, Lewish, how are you? Everybody waiting for you. Can you tell me where is my fish? Because I want to have a barbecue. I mean, what is this? So beautiful. It's time. It's time to take Shahada, my friend. It's time. I mean, we cannot hesitate. And it said the name is Lotaya. I mean, what those people, you know, because you know, they are counting the names they heard from the legions. You see, all those are legions. Every nation have different name for them. So some they call the whale Lewish. Some they call it Lotaya. Some they call it Bahamut. And by the way, this name, Bahamut, you can find in the Old Testament too. But it's not as he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and some say is the names is Talahut. Like what the heck? Is it Bahamut? Is it Talahut? Can you just come uh, How many names does this guy have? Or Liyawana? Liyawana? How sexy? The whale is in the sea. It's called Adwad. If, 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 if. Adwad? Adwad? How are you, Adwad? You are the one who's carrying the earth, Adwad? Okay, 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 okay. Move your tail. No, no, move your tail. This is not your tail, Adwad. This this is not your tail. This is your nose. No, move your tail. Adwad, don't be stubborn. If you don't move your tail right now, I'm going to ask Bahamut to hit you with his horn because remember, you are in the top of Bahamut. The bull. Okay, thank you, Edward. Next time, don't make me threat you to move your tail. Just obey. Obey as soon as I say. And it's like a small ball in a huge sea. And the sea is in a hollowed rock. If, 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 if. Whereby there is 4,000 cracks. You know what? I think the one who came with the story is the one who has 4,000 cracks in his brain. And actually, you are taking too much crack. Hashish, heroin, cocaine. I mean, even they knew how many cracks are in the, in the, in the ocean. There's 4,000 crack. Now, forget about this, because the Muslim, they will say, oh, this is Ibn Abbas saying that, not the Prophet. Okay, let's go back to the Prophet. The Prophet... This is the prophet talking, brother. Because he's reporting from Ibn Abbas. And actually, the story is in the Quran. This story is in the Quran, by the way. This is not only in the Hadith. So, <sighs> how we will find this guy, Al Khadr? He told him, when the fish go lose, whenever you lose the, f the fish, follow it. Follow the fish. <laughs> okay. So Musa, he went to blah, 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 he went to the trip, and then he reached a rock and rested there. Take a note, brother. He reached a rock and he rested there. By the way, how many, how many people here from Indonesia are listening? <clears throat> how many people from Indonesia are listening to us right now? Give me one if you are from Indonesia, please. Why you are staying this late? Because don't you want to sleep? It's 4.30 for you in the morning, isn't it? Okay, those who they are listening from us, from Indonesia, I'm going to ask Allah to send you a wheel as a gift for a Christmas. I mean, why Muhammad? Okay, guys, do you know the, the miracle in the, in, the, in the Quran? It's called, there is a chapter, it's called the table chapter. Anyone, any know, anyone knows why it's called the table chapter? Al-Ma'idah? Anyone knows? Chapter number five, Al Maida. It's called the table. Any, anyone knows why it's called the table? Why it's called the table? Let us see how many of you knows. Why it's called the table? Because Jesus he did feed. You know the story about the fish and the bread. How Jesus he blessed it, and then thousands of people they ate from it. This is what Muhammad is making a story about it, but he have different version of it. When Jesus, his followers, they said to him, well, uh, why you don't ask uh, God, Allah, supposedly, to uh, uh, bring us food? And if you really bring that, we will believe in you. So Allah, he sent seven sandwiches. Anyone remember what is inside the sandwich? Who remember what is inside the sandwich? Anyone remember? Whale eggs? No. Whale. Seven whales. Seven whales. Makes sense. I mean, a lot of people want to eat, man. I mean, what's wrong with you? How do you want to feed all those thousands? So Muhammad, he come with a story. That when Jesus, he made the miracle of the food, Allah, he sent seven, 
sandwiches, each one of them have a whale. Yeah, his name is Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, those are Lewis number one, Lewis number two, Lewis number three, because they are like brothers. And their dad, he swear that every kid he get, he call him Lewis. So he sent him down seven Lewis or seven whales. All right. Now we go back to the story, which we don't want to miss. Do you want to miss the story? Are you serious? Because this is story, and Moses put his head down and slept. Sufyan, the, uh, the guy who was reporting, he said, at the rock there was a water spring called Al Hayat. Called what? Al Hayat. What does that mean? Uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, I, uh, according to Muslims, my Arabic is is is, is not good. Uh, any Muslim want to translate for us what that means? The fountain of life, the water of life. Are you sure? Yes, brother. The fountain of life. There, the fountain of life was there. I have wanted now Okay, yeah, that's enough. I mean, I don't know. Like you see, uh, uh, I think I'm getting old. I mean, I switched the topic suddenly because it remind me of song. Like you know, what is this? The fountain of life. And what this fountain of life? The water of life. Al Hayat. Al Hayat in Arabic. Al mean that. Hayat means life. This was the name of the water, the life. And none come in touch with it. It's water, but become alive. What? Are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. True story. Listen, this is the water of life. Look, it's music. Like, yeah, she is saying, like, life, life. Give me five, life, five, five. Yeah, something like that, you know. I'm just trying to translate to you. So, brothers, I understand that you are ignorant, brother, and you do not know much about the fountain of life, brother, but, brother, why you are not listening, brother? Why you are not learning, brother? Why you are not converting to Islam, brother? So some of the water of the spring that fell over that fish. If, 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 if. And how this water fell over it? Don't you know it's not healthy to leave the fish and cover the brother? So this guy, he went all the way from Israel. All the way to Bahrain. It's going to take him maybe two months by the camel. And he have a fish in his pocket. Fish, are you sure? So some of the water of that spring fell over that fish. Oh boy. Guys. This will remind me once, to be honest with you. I was in the ship of the carpet, uh, carpet? <laughs> Not the flying carpet, the pirate of the Caribbean. Do you see how funny these English Christian brands? <laughs> yes, this is the, you know. We saw a big, big whale. And we gave the whale warning, like, like move, like move, move. And then the ship, brother, split the whale to pieces. True story. It was a very stormy day, and the ship is moving. And our brother, our Muslim brother, uh, Jack Sparrow, 
Uh, what is his name? He was saying, there's a whale, there's a whale, avoid the whale. But we could not. It was too late. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the whale. He's suffering. But the brother, in the ship with us, there was a prophet. His name is Al-Khudr. He took some water from his pocket. He used to a container for whiskey, black label, something like that. He put water from the fountain of life. And he dropped that water in the top of that wheel. And immediately, that wheel came back to life. If you don't believe me, I swear by Allah. And then, this fish, brother, so it moved and it slipped out of the basket and entered the sea. Look, look at this. I mean, you cannot trust a fish. Can you? How you can trust a fish? You, you cannot trust a fish. As you see, look what they are doing. You took the fish with you. Allah told you. Ah, hold on. Allah told him when you lose the fish, follow it. Follow it. Uh, follow who? How I can follow the fish? How I am going to follow it now? It's in the sea. Look what happened, brother. So after some of the water fell into this fish, this fish became alive. And she entered the sea. When Musa woke up, he asked his attendant, Bring our early meal. And he's caught in your house, chapter 18, verse number 62. Then the Creator added, Musa did not suffer from fatigue except after he had passed that place. So, see, this is a sign from Allah. Allah, He hit him in his head like, Hello. He had been ordered to observe. His attendant, Yeshua bin Nun, the son of the whale, said to him, Do you remember what happened when we betook over your, our, uh, our, uh, ourselves at the, to the rock? I did not uh, I did in, uh, in, indeed forgot about the fish. Chapter 18, verse number 63. The narrator added, So they come back retra retracting the steps and then they found it in the sea. They found in the sea. What they found? The way of the fish. Oof, oof, oof. Like a tunnel. What? Like, are you serious? The way of the fish. Like a tunnel. What does that mean? The brother, when the fish went in the sea, Allah, he made the water like rocks. And wherever the fish go, the water became solid. So you can imagine now Prophet Musa's and his servant walking in that tunnel in the sea, which is supposed to be water but became like a rock. Allah, he made it like a rock so they can follow the steps of the fish because the fish will lead them to the Prophet Al-Khadr. So there was astonishing event for this attendant and there was a tunnel for the fish. When they reached the rock, oh man, they found the man covered with garment. Hold on. They found what? They found a man 
covered with what? With garment? What does that mean exactly? Do you think that this is the guy? Because I saw a guy in the other day, I was going to Walmart. I saw a guy, he, he fit, the, but this is not a green, this is yellow. This is not a green. I mean... It have to be green. I, I, I don't know. I I'm really confused now. Which one? Where is it? Where is our friend? Do you think that this is that guy? Oh boy! I found him. Mean oh man! This is a blue. It's still right, but I think. Uh, the camera is making it look blue, but he's green. And look, actually, mysterious. Look at this. Oof, 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 oof. So in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the ocean, they found Mr. Green. Now, I cannot tell you more about the story, guys, because this is not good for your age. I mean, it's, uh, most of you, you're, did you ask your daddy and mommy to go and uh, watch the cartoon today? Do you have permission to watch her too? Did you? Just as a reminder, Netflix, they are broadcasting Antichrist programs. So if you have a Netflix and you are a Christian and you really you care, you drop Netflix immediately. And you post, you send them an email, the reason why you did that. Immediately. If you're really truly a person who believes you are a Christian, and you have Netflix, you drop that company immediately. And actually, even if they stop doing that, we will never go back there. The one who sponsored this company, I believe he's committing sin. Because you are sending your money for those people who they are saying lies about Jesus, insulting Jesus, and there is no reason for that, except the fifth. All right? But don't forget, if you cancel, to send them an email, let them, let them see what they did to themselves. All right. <clears throat> So my friends, I mean, how in the world we can accept such a person to be a prophet of God with all those funny, stupid stories? And this story, by the way, again, it's in the Quran. This story is in the Quran. This is not a fiction by independent person. This is what Muhammad, he adopted. This is what Muhammad, he believed. And this is what Muhammad, he claimed that his God said that to him. Right? Uh, Adil Ahmed, I did not time you out. This is the admin. But I think you don't fit in our channel. Because as you see, we're playing cartoon. It's not good for your age. Hmm. Let your dad call me. We want adult to talk to Christian press, not like, you know. So as you see, I cannot really explain more how stupid this cult and how Allah, he proved to us that he cannot be God. I mean, every story in the Quran is a joke. Well, Fatima is not trying to call me because I have no cause, my friend. If somebody call me, you will hear it. 
My Skype is on and nobody is calling. As simple as that. All right. <clears throat> So my, my, my family, when I say to you this cult is a stupid cult, I'm speaking from my heart. It's not only teaching things antichrist teaching. It's not only trying to make us not to follow Christ. Even if you are an atheist, even if you are whoever you are, this is nothing but a stupid cult full of fiction, stupid stories made by the man who is not educated, acting as if he is smart and he knew. But the fact every word he say, proving to us that he is an idiot. And actually, I'm very thankful that the Quran became a book, otherwise they can run away with their lies. I'm very thankful that the Hadith became a book, even though, by the way, those Hadith books are filtered. Even the earliest people who wrote the biography of Muhammad, they said in their book, we filtered, we filtered. Anything is not as suitable to be about the Prophet, which means there's a lot of stories which is disgusting. They took it off. So all what we know about Muhammad is written by Muslims, yet is disgusting and stupid. After filtering, if this is after filtering, what, what it was before filtering. You know what I mean? It's like somebody bringing to you clothing and this is after the laundry. And the cloth is so dirty. Or like, you know, <clears throat> here you will find, by the way, the story of uh, Al-Khadr and Musa's chapter 18. Start from verse number 60, 61, 62. This is Quran. This is not just a hadith. <clears throat> and here how they forgot their, their, their will. <clears throat> they forgot their will. I always forget my will. Okay, I will tell you this story. And it, by the way, it's a true story. Uh, <clears throat> should I tell you this story? I'm, I'm not sure if I should tell you because this is not good for your age. But anyway. Once uh, I was with uh, I was a Muslim at that time, brother. And now the Muslim they will record me say, see Christian Prince, he's saying he was a Muslim. Well, your prophet he says everyone is born as a Muslim. Hello. <laughs> so, brother, this is a true story. I will tell you. Sit down, sit down, please. I went in the Caribbean. And we have our brother, a Muslim brother, Jack Sparrow. And from far away. Jack Sparrow, he said to me, we are getting closer. I said to him, getting closer to what? He said to the fountain of youth. I said, how you know? He said, the ocean is going crazy. And the fish is dancing all over. I said, Jack, if there's any proof of this story, that even the fountain of youth is exist. He said, yes. I said, how you prove it? He said, and just I repeat, and honest to Allah, I'm telling the truth. Prophet Muhammad said that. The second he said the Prophet Muhammad says that, I said, I trust you. As long Prophet Muhammad he said that, for sure, this is a true. There's a fountain, it's called the fountain of youth. And whoever touch or drink that water, he will come back to life. And he will be young. Like me. Jack Sparrow, he said to me, so are you a Muslim like me like now? 
I said, wait, I need to try it first to see if it's true. Jack Sparrow, he said, my friend, it might be too late then because Allah will not accept you to be a Muslim. And this is a true story. I don't know if you can hear the uh, Jack Sparrow is coughing behind me, you know, because he was like uh, holding the, the 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 thing, the dish, you know, like it's a it's a thing like the one you uh, you know you hold the the uh, the ship with it, like the same thing like you, you drive your motorcycle with it, what they call it. Uh, I think they call it like uh, 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 you know. Uh, I, I think they call it salad anyway. So anyway, so by the way, this is trip happened. Uh, this is a true trip when we were going in Alaska in the Caribbean and uh, you know during that trip we saw a lot of uh, things in, in in the trip uh, we saw Bigfoot uh, we saw we saw uh, Putin to be honest with you Putin was there and uh, Trump he was not there because he was uh, in the attending the impeachment he was like you know busy and uh, anyway uh, so uh, anyway uh, uh, we saw a lot of things which is really amazing and uh, uh, even uh, we shake hands with uh, uh, an animal. It's called, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's like half dolphin, half elephant. You know, I don't know what they call him in your countries. But in my country, in Arabia, they call him camel. Okay? Yeah, it's true story. So anyway, we saw the camel in the ocean. And he was like drinking the ocean. Because camels, they drink a lot of water. True story. You know, I mean, if I say this is a story for a Muslim, they will say to me, you are a liar. How this, how my story is a lie and this story is accepted? I mean, how you laugh at anyone will say such a story and you will not believe it now, but Muhammad saying such a garbage in front of you, you believe it. Right? So I hope we have a good time today. It's time for me to go. I'm really happy to have you all of you together. And by the way, in Christmas night, we are going to be in the other account. All of you are invited. We will not talk about Islam and we will take calls from Christians, but the topic will not about be about Islam. We will, we will enjoy the Christmas. And this is where we will be. Quality of Life M27. Maybe the admin can post the link for you. So subscribe there. Join us in the Christmas evening. We will be there and we will stay for a good time. Just a family, you know, family having a good time. And, you know, the Messiah, he wants us to be happy. Christianity is a belief of happiness, but not a bad happiness, good happiness. A happiness with a, with a, with a clean heart, forgiving people before you ask God for forgiveness. Helping the poor, helping the needy. Jesus said, I was. A prisoner and you visited me I was a stranger and you took me in I was hungry and you feeded me that is the teaching of Jesus and this is what the Christmas is about Christmas is not a tree Christmas is a day for Christ and every day in our life should be a day for Christ for Christ he make our life beautiful and Christ will change your life. He said, read the books. And we are doing that. Search for the truth. And we are doing that. And the truth will set you free. Amazing wisdom. Nothing can set you free as much as the truth. Because when you don't have the truth, you are confused. You are a slave of false ideas, of false belief, of lies. The truth, my friend, will set you free. And that is Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ. The only one who said, love your enemy and pray for those who they are cursing you. No higher than this can anyone reach. A very high extreme standard of love and mercy and forgiveness. So we will be in the Christmas evening, which means we'll be in the 24th, 
I'm sure many of you will be with your family. So you are busy, you cannot come, don't run. It's okay. For me, I have a big family around the earth. All of you. And my family is not somebody from my blood. And it should not be the case, actually. Because family from your blood is people you did not choose. But family, not from your blood, is people they choose you to be one of them. So we are a big family. And this family is a family of love. And we love the Muslims. And this coming Christmas, I'm going to pray actually for the Muslims. So they see the light. And they will not be deceived. Pray, them, pray for them, my friend. We don't do what they do. We don't curse people. We pray for them. We pray for their salvation. We pray for their safety. We pray for their health. We pray to be for their wealth. We don't want anyone, any human being to suffer. It doesn't matter what his religion. He's a Hindu, he's a Buddha, he's an atheist. It doesn't matter. We do what Christ, he told us to do. And they do what their God told them to do. And there is no better teaching and no better wisdom than the wisdom of our Lord. Some people, they will say to you that the Christmas was coming from a pagan practice. Our friend, any practice you do is what meant to be, not went, what it was to be to somebody else. As an example, the Muslims, they celebrate their pagan holiday in the Middle East. That day, we used to have a meeting to study the Bible. It's a holiday for us. For them, it's about Kaaba, black stone. For us, it's about Jesus. The same day. We made that day our Sabbath. <coughs> so every day you designate to the Lord is a holiday, is a Sabbath. Every day. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I will try to be here tomorrow again. Take care.